the Al Smith Charity Dinner. He was the former governor of New York, three-term governor. He ran for president of, on the Democratic ticket in 1928 and got his ass kicked, handed to him, right? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but they said that it was an important uh, election because it, it started the, the first coalition for the New Deal coalition, right? It started mm -hmm. to bring uh, urban uh, workers together. So um, let's look at Barack Obama's jokes. Voters in states like Ohio, Virginia and Florida will decide this incredibly important election, <laughs> which begs the question, what are we doing here? <laughs> Tonight, I am here with a man whose father was a popular governor and who knows what it's like to run a major northeastern state and who could very well be president someday, and I'm hoping it is Andrew Cuomo. Can you pause? <laughs> so, can you just go back to that shot, though? Now, is that... Walter Mondale a couple years after he died? Who is that guy over his shoulder? <laughs> I have no idea. It's like, but I've been watching him the entire time we've been looking at these videos. What's with the old pasty white guys sitting in, why would they do, why not just have two people not back there? How yeah, do, it turns out when you get extremely rich old Catholics together, some of them kind of pasty, actually. <laughs> and they're all um, white except for Barack Obama. I don't yeah. think there was another person. Who, by the way, does look a lot better in that tux. Yeah. It does actually even it out. I, I don't know if that's it does. racialist, but all right, let's it go back to the rest, of his the rest of his joke. Uh, I had a lot more energy in our second debate. Uh, I felt really well rested after the nice long nap I had in the first debate. I learned that there are worse things that can happen to you on your anniversary than forgetting to buy a gift. <laughs> that's okay, I'm still uh, making the most of my time in the city. Earlier today, I went shopping at some stores in Midtown. Uh, I understand Governor Romney went shopping for some stores in Midtown. Hey. Love to go to old Yankee Stadium, uh, the house that Ruth built, although uh, he really did not build that. <laughs> I hope everybody's uh, aware of that. More white guys. Sometimes it feels like this race <laughs> has dragged on forever. But Paul Ryan assured me that we've only been running for two hours and 50 <laughs> something <Bam>. minutes. <laughs> um, you, the unemployment you rate is at its lowest level since I took office. I don't have a joke here. I just thought it'd be useful to remind everybody. But the unemployment rate is the lowest it's been since I took office. We have in common, beginning with our unusual names. Actually, Mitt is his middle name. I wish I could use my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you guys remember, after my foreign trip in 2008, I was attacked as a celebrity because I was so popular with our allies overseas. And I have to say I'm impressed with how well Governor Romney has avoided that problem. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Zing. Yeah, Zing. yeah those were good. I heard that um, when he was practicing his, uh, practicing his zingers, mm -hmm. uh, that Chris Christie kept eating all the zingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Do they sell those around here? I thought that was an East Coast thing. Zing. Maybe it's national. Um, I, I, I realized while watching his jokes there that despite my disillusionment over the last four years with Obama, I do actually still have quite a bit of bias because I thought he was way funnier and I worry that it's a political bias that's causing me to think his jokes were better. Um, he just seems like a much more likable guy. Like even when he's, he's jabbing at Romney, I accept it much more than when Romney was doing it back well, because he was doing it about the funnier things and not like made up numbers about responsibility for the deficit and things like that yes. and the national debt. Um, yeah, and, and I would like to say this. And then he repeats, the, but Mitt Romney repeated that you didn't build that, that line. That's what I was going to say, It's yeah. like, no, that's not funny because it has to be a joke. And then he brought in St. Peter and it was convoluted and he really had to reach. That was the one bad joke yeah. Mitt Romney did tell, I'll say that. Yeah, like I, I think that it's funny that Obama's still using the you didn't build that. I would suggest that he stop, stop bringing doing it up. That. Mm -hmm. But Romney doesn't get to joke about that because they seriously tried to make it an issue in the election. <laughs> yes. They were. It was stupid of them to do that. It did actually work, I think, to some extent. And so that you're joking about it. Yeah, Donald Trump could make jokes about birthers and stuff. But he was serious about it. That should be the joke. That's the, uh, I'm with you there 100%. Yeah. Yeah.